Suppose I made a deal with you. You go out and you find a house. I noticed that in Atlanta, y'all have really big houses. Suppose you see a castle, right? Like a mansion out here. And you find out from the builder, from the owner, that it's actually worth 10 million, let's say. But today you find out that it's your lucky day and it's on sale for a cent. So this house that's actually worth $10 million, you get it for a cent. You pay one cent, you get the house that's worth $10 million. Would you feel like you got a deal? Even if you have food coma, you know you got a deal, right? Black Friday, you know, the day after Thanksgiving, if you see what a person, what a human being will do to get a deal, it's pretty intense. It really is. And in fact, you almost find that every year someone gets killed because people want a sale at Walmart. And that's how it works. Human beings are very motivated for a deal. They'll stand outside in the freezing cold, right outside Best Buy. There used to be people who would camp outside Best Buy because they want to get a sale on a laptop. One time there was this lady going around Walmart with mace because she wanted to get the, I think it was like a video game or something first. I mean, this is the psychology of people to get a deal. Now, why am I saying that? Because God is making a deal with us. He knows our nature. He created us. Look at Allah's deal. I help the creation. God helps me. I give to the creation. The creator gives to me. When I said the $10 million house for a cent, you're getting something worth a huge amount for a small amount. Think about the reward of Allah. There's a hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ says that the most beloved person to Allah is the one who is the most beneficial to people. We're not talking just about a $10 million house. We're talking about the reward and love of God. And this is by me lending a hand to the creation. Something that is maybe easy for me to do. Something small. As a reward for that small action that I make, I get something infinite. Forget $10 million. The Prophet ﷺ said that if you help a person in need, guess what happens? God helps you when you're in need. God. I'm not talking the president. I'm not talking about some big politician who has some power. I'm talking about God. I'm talking about the Lord of the universe. That He will help you out. That if you help another person, the Lord of the universe will help you. And the hadith goes on to say, every time there is an action that you do to the creation, God will reward you with that action for you. So you help a person in need, God will help you when you're in need. You'd help get someone out of a difficult situation. Guess what? Newsflash. We're all going to get into a difficult situation at some point in our life. And forget for a moment the difficult situations of this life. Let's look at something more difficult. And that is the next life. The day of judgment is something intense. And we all know this. We all know we're going to stand in front of Allah. And that's going to be a difficult day. And on that day, Allah says that if you helped people out in this life, Allah will help you out at that time when you need it the most and when I need it the most. You and I are in desperate need of the mercy of Allah. You know, sometimes we forget this, but even the Prophet, even the Prophet wasallam said, that no one enters paradise by their deeds alone, except that Allah has mercy on them. Without the mercy of Allah, none of us will enter paradise. And they asked him, his companions asked him, even you, O Rasulullah, even you. He's the perfect human being, you know, as, as perfect as a human being can be. And he said, even me. So we know that if he's in need of the mercy of Allah, what about us? And this is one of those ways in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us almost like, you know, a, a shortcut to the help and the mercy of God is help another person. Be merciful to another person. When you see someone in need, give to them and God will give you infinitely. That's what I call a deal. We're not talking one cent for 10 million. This is infinity. This is an infinite reward.